my name is Alani L for Psych2Go, and let's get the obvious out of the way first. I am acutely aware that I need a haircut, but we're not talking about my hair in this video. We're talking about something equally as cute. Babies! So Charles Darwin studied a lot of different things about humans and just nature in general, and one of the most important things that he studied for this video at least is behavior. And today we're going to talk about behavior to children and babies. If you have ever seen something in anime or manga that just made you go, oh, so kawaii, then it probably has these features as well. Some of these Kinchin schema features are big heads, predominant brain capsules, big round low setting eyes, and big cute cheeks. So in 2009, a woman named Melanie L. Glocker held a research study where she would hook people up to an fMRI machine and she would study their brains as she showed them pictures of babies. Now babies that had more of these Kinchin schema features would activate more areas in the nucleus accumbens which governs reward and motivation and the orbitofrontal cortex which does decision making basically. The more prominent these features were, the more activity was found in these areas, and it was a biological and a neutral response, which means that people weren't consciously making these changes in their brains, it happened quicker than they had the chance to. It's just a biological, physiological response that we have to babies that have these features. Now all babies, to some extent, have these features, but ones that have been more prominent produced more of this activity in their brains. Now Krinkelbach in 2008 had the same idea, did a similar study, and got the same results. Now Darwin knew where he was going with this, because species with this same similar response to children and babies have a higher success rate of living beyond childhood. For example, if you think of turtles, they will lay hundreds and hundreds of eggs and they don't have this nurturing instinct inside them, so they just leave. And then the babies hatch and about one in a thousand of these baby turtles live. That means about 999 of them die before they actually become adults. Now if you think of whales, on the other hand, they have their children one at a time and they nurture them all and their babies have a much higher success rate of surviving to adulthood. Similarly with humans, because humans and whales are both mammals and we both have this nurturing instinct to children and we have a much higher success rate than turtles, fortunately, but unfortunately for the turtles. Now it's a good thing that humans do have this response specifically because about 13% of women after birth will suffer from postpartum depression within six weeks after giving birth. That being said, if you feel like you might have postpartum depression or you're afraid that you might after giving birth, then you should definitely seek professional help and go see someone to help get over this for your baby's sake and for your sake because you're dealing with two people here not to mention the impact that it has on the rest of your family as well. Make sure that you subscribe below. There's a little red button that says subscribe that you should really hit as well as the thumbs up button. That would definitely help to show your support to this channel and that you want to see more videos like this. You can also follow Psych2Go on all of its social media like Tumblr and Twitter if you want to keep up with these interesting facts that they have. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. This was a lot of fun to record and to read about. So if you want to learn more, you can go to the link below. I will give you a link to the actual Psych2Go article that you can read all about this and more because they have plenty of subjects for you to read about. It's an awesome website. Once again, my name is Alani L. Davis and I hope you have an awesome week. Bye!